hello viewers hopes you are doing well and yeah today i will discuss about uh, uh, one of our uh, uh, script e food food delivery system uh, admin panel okay so b before i going to discuss about that uh, script uh, or admin panel uh, i want to introduce myself and uh, yeah we are 6m tech and uh, we developed some um, project uh, in and uh, publish them in code canyon and you guys can easily explore them in code canyon and inspect our demo and if you love that you can purchase so our main domain is 6m tech.com and yeah this is our eFood script eFood is a food delivery app with laravel admin panel it's a complete solution a single vendor restaurant management system with a delivery system so if you uh, go to this link i i will put this link in description uh, you can mm, you can see lots of stuff here and yeah also if you click on buy now button then uh, it will uh, redirect to you code canyon and you need to purchase this uh, script from code canyon so uh, in code canyon um, currently it's a 50 percent discount that's why the price is 34 dollar but uh, after the discount period uh, the price will increase to 60 dollar 69 dollar so uh, you can uh, explore the features from here also you can explore admin panel user app and delivery app and decide uh, are you really want to purchase it or not uh, also you can show some showcase like we have a dark theme and light theme mm, rtl ltr supported multi-language supported and lots of stuff so um, basically uh, i will discuss the admin part in this video how admin demo work and <coughs> how you manage your business uh, from admin panel okay uh, i am here demo.6 demo.6mtech.com and click on the e foot this is our uh, demo admin so you can use this credential for admin login so i click here so that admin and admin.com and password is one two three four five six seven eight and when i click sign in button it will take me to the admin dashboard so uh, i will uh, discuss uh, every section every section uh, from this admin panel so that uh, if you purchase this application or if you want to purchase this application then i uh, you will get a idea how it's work and look uh, uh, there is a notification here because of there is a new order uh, placed from uh, user apps that's why in admin panel it's getting a notification so lots of users are uh, mm, yeah. Uh, exploring the user app that's why maybe sometime uh, new notification came uh, come in so no problem uh, i'm going to dashboard again so th uh, this is a uh, dashboard where uh, very minimal statistic uh, we are giving you like uh, how many orders uh, are pendings and confirm processing out for delivery total order some statistic monthly wise earning statistic and and the comparison with your customer order review as well as how many uh, likes you get for every uh, uh, product so th this is this is the product which is get uh, highest like okay this is just a uh, very basic piece let's go to uh, let's go to the order section in order section in all order uh, you will get the list of order okay 
in this list of order you will get the order list that you get from your user app and yeah our our application support both ios and android it's developed by flutter so um, it's a win-win situation like you, you will get uh, admin panel android app and ios app also and here it's a single vendor but multi-branch supported system that's why you will get a drop down here like uh, if you want to explore only a specific uh, um, uh, selected branch then you can select a branch here uh, but right now it's uh, all branch so you, you will get all branch uh, order you can explore a order like if you click there here you can go the order details and uh, here the full order details like uh, which product is ordered and how many uh, prices cost discount delivery fee and total and here the uh, delivery address like a uh, customer info like who is customer ordered his phone number as well as delivery address and there is uh, another <coughs> thing uh, if a customer call you and uh, ask you to change the address then you can easily click this edit button and change his address also you can uh, select uh, click this uh, button or okay, click this address link it will redirect to the google map uh, uh, location exact location where is the customer actually uh, stay right now so this is a i think uh, this is a also a cool feature uh, if you really want to deliver something to your customer like this is the th this is the point where customer right now uh, yeah, right, right now stay okay so <coughs> you can add uh, some reference code if you the cash on delivery go to uh, ch changed or uh, other payment payment uh, gateway like a customer called you and uh, ask you to send you payment by other uh, digital payment ch channels and then you can get that payment and you can add a reference here also also customer can uh, select the digital payment gateway from user apps so uh, so i am not going to that part user apps i will discuss about the user apps in another video okay so uh, as admin you can uh, select a different uh, delivery man from here and if you assign a delivery man then uh, there is another uh, delivery man apps and uh, the delivery man will get notification that uh, he get an uh, assigned a new delivery and uh, he can uh, go on and also you can check delivery man um, current location from here but currently it's not available because uh, i didn't select any delivery man and you can change the payment status also you can change the order status from here and you can explore pending confirmed cancelled order from here it's a short menu okay and uh, if i go to the production section there is a uh, menu called banner so banner is a uh, banner is an image which is display which will be displayed in uh, uh, user apps and uh, here there is a three banner and on banner which is disabled so if you uh, click uh, add a new banner then you can add a new banner name banner image and <coughs> you can select uh, when user click that banner uh, then what happened so if you want to redirect that user to a product then you can select that product and product specific product name also you can search here which product you want to redirect like chicken if you like chicken uh, right chicken then you will get the chicken biryani and chija meal so um, uh, this is very user friendly i think so uh, you, you can select a product or you can select category if you select category then you can choose so oh, it's a single category uh, suppose if you click on burger and if you select a, a banner here and submit then user will uh, click that banner and go to that category so this is very cool feature i think 
okay then uh, we have category uh, so there is nothing to speak about this it's a very simple things like you can category is your food so category uh, you can create category you can create sub category and you can assign the food to your category or sub category there is the attribute section and the attribute section is a section uh, where you can put some attribute like uh, right now it's size so you can if you cre create a size attribute then if you when you um, create a new product then you can choose the size for that product also this is optional so if you i i will show you how you can add a um, uh, attribute to your product also you can create a new attribute like if i uh, write a like a test test attribute then I'm, if i click submit then there is a true attribute right now okay now if i go to add on okay add on is something like a, some extra thing in your for your product like a, if you uh, add like a cheese coke these are the add-on and you can say, say, set a price specific price like uh, someone uh, add add-on as like coke then the five dollar will be add their product uh, in their order and uh, you will notify that uh, this order has a add-on so you can manage this from add-on section now if i go to the product section okay product section um, this is the most important now how you can add a new product or how you can edit a new product right now i am going to add a new product and so that i can explain you how, how this uh, add-on attributes are work here okay mm, here I, this is very simple you need to add a new product name and this is a uh, I am not going to add a new product, but I will discuss every every input for you. So, like it's a new name, you can add new name here, price, tax, and tax percent. If you want to add a specific amount tax, you can choose here amount. Or if you want to the percent, like five percent tax, then you can add percent and here put the tax tax percent. So uh, this is very user friendly, I think also you can add a discount like you can add 10 percent discount like 10 and use this percent here or you can add a specific discount like 500 taka 500 and you can put the amount here so it's also user friendly and also you can put a item type like there are two type of item you can add like a product item or a set menu so set menu can be uh, two or three uh, food at once you can sell okay and you can choose a category from here and if that category has a subcategory then you can choose that subcategory now now here is the attribute like look uh, i added a new attribute there like test attribute and size attribute so if you add a new attribute like size then you can add different type of size like uh, your uh, pizza has a large size and a comma and small size okay so now uh, you can choose the different price for that uh, attribute like uh, the large size pizza so you can set the large size pizza price is uh, sixty dollar and the small size pizza price is uh, forty dollar. So you, you uh, this is the uh, thing it works attribute. So you can add uh, multiple attribute for here. Okay. <coughs> now the add-on you can add the add-on like uh, you can add coke and whatever it is water so when user order this uh, food they can choose uh, this or add on coke and water also the food available time mm, you can set a default restaurant time from setting like uh, you your restaurant open from 10 a.m to 5 a.m 5 p.m or you can you can also select a food available time like uh, your this this food are available is uh, 
2 p.m. to 5 p.m. So you can choose the available time. You can add a short description and product image. And after all these things, you, you can click submit and the product will be submitted and created a new product. And you can see them from list. And yeah, you can uh, uh, you can edit the product from here. You can delete the product. It's uh, totally up to you. Then there is another section called brands. I told you earlier the, this is a multi brand system, single vendor multi brand system. So if your restaurant has a multiple brands, you can add them from here. And uh, yeah, the, right now there is a two brands here. It's the main brands. The main brands is not deletable. But the uh, sub brands you can edit. And also here you can uh, change the main brands name. But right now it's not permitted because of this is a demo. And we don't want to change this, this thing from uh, uh, as uh, there are lots of <coughs> clients are watching this system. So it will create a mess or create a conflict. That's why we uh, disable this function. But if you purchase this script, you can easily modify them. Uh, yeah, you can create a new branch here, add latitude, longitude and email password so that this email and password so that uh, you, the new branch manager can log in by this email and password. There is a branch login section in login. I will I will show you later. Okay, so uh, you, you, you can you, you can create multiple brands and you can you, the when user um, create a order if he uh, you you can also add a cover so when user create a new order for if he uh, on the cover then he can order otherwise he can't order you can renew order because the, there is this issue here cover and if you want to uh, deliver the whole world I, I, I mean whole country then you can put a long bellow like 900 kilometer it's a it's up to you but uh, but uh, as reality 900 kilometer you can't deliver a food but you can put here as your wish okay and yeah uh, now I want to uh, show you a uh, branch login so that I, I open a new new incognito mode and if I go again the demo.6mtech.com okay e foot uh, it's loading no problem okay and here you can put the address lat long you can uh, create a lat long you can easily get a lat long from google map so you can easily put that lat long here also you can add a uh, coverage area like 10 kilometer or 5, five kilometer from the lat long also add address and password for branch manager login okay right now it's opened so if i if I go to the branch login, currently I am in my village and the internet connection is very slow. That's why uh, it's taking time. But uh, if you guys can, uh, you can easily explore them. It's very fast. Okay. Okay. So uh, I'm going to the next section like masses. So uh, yeah, user can easily um, uh, create a new conversation from their uh, user apps and you can manage them from here. You can reply them from here. So this is like a customer with uh, owner chat or you can say, you, you can say support system also. And another thing is product review so here uh, the, how many pro review you got from your product like is uh, some time ago cheesy sandwich with spicy guilt this is awesome this photo is awesome it's get five star okay also you can uh, explore this by a product if you click that product then then look this is the details of product 
and here you can see the product review this this product get one review and it's a five star one five star and sultan mahmoud is uh, uh, gave the review and the review is uh, the review comment is this and the date so if i go to the back yeah the, this is very important section okay Mm, if I go to the branch section, yes, the branch is uh, loaded. If I uh, click uh, this, so branch email and password is put here. And if I click sign in, then this is a branch section, branch login. The branch manager only get uh, the order. Okay, this is as like as the admin panel, but the branch manager only uh, explore his order, his branch order, like uh, his branch is branch two so he can only see the branch two order not main branch order okay so this is his restriction and he only uh, manage the order that's it okay and if i go this notification section yeah notification is another uh, important thing here so uh, you can easily send a push notification to your client all of your customer at once like you can you can offer something new in your restaurant and you can set that by now it's 30 percent off in burger or pizza and add a description and the emails and you can send the notification all of your customer will get a notification and here the coupon coupon you can create a new coupon for your customer so uh, you, you can create a um mm, yeah, coupon type like first order coupon or default coupon you can set a limit for user uh, okay uh, same user how many time he can uh, apply this coupon you can this is a auto generated code but you can add uh, add a code like you like like a discount 30 you can put the the code as you want you can uh, add a range started and ended you can add a minimum purchase like a, a if customer minimum purchase is below 200 then the coupon will not applied maximum discount you can say 30 percent but you can put a maximum discount like a 100 taka or 50 so this will be the mass maximum discount and the total discount you can put here like 30 percent discount and you can put the amount and percentage here 30 percent means the total percentage of the order and the uh, amount is specific amount like 30 30 taka or 30 dollar okay <coughs> and here is the another set thing is setting so there are lots of um, customizable thing here from your setting you can you can customize your restaurant name logo whatever on you want email verification you can enable in email verification then when user uh, sign off then they must verify by email but this is a very important thing that you must uh, set up the smtp by mail configuration without mail conf configuration the email verification will not uh, work that means the email will not go to the user user mail so verification will not go to the user mail so if you put this on you must um, uh, configure this mail configuration you can add phone number email photo text delivery charts also here is a location setup you can set up your main ad restaurant location from google map location and you can put the coverage also here you can add mail configuration your smtp mail configuration you can put here payment method so it's a, a important thing uh, we we have integrated lots of payment method like cash on delivery digital payment ssl commerce Razor pay paypal and stife so if you put this active you must you must put your published key and api key like paypal client id or paypal secret so kindly it's a demo and we deactivate this but we we didn't we do not uh, want to display the secret that's why it's uh, hidden but you guys need to uh, need to add them if you if you put the active okay and 
push notification setting uh, if you uh, there is a automated push notification like if you want to enable push notification in your system you must uh, create a server key from uh, firebase and you put that server key here otherwise it will not work and yeah you you can you can you can enable some messages or disable some messages and you can change the message as you want like order pending message when a user placed the order uh, this notification is um, display his uh, phone your order has been placed but you can change your message or you can enable or disable it uh, this is very customizable so and finally terms and condition you can you can write a terms and condition here you can edit them you can whatever you want you can redesign them and click submit it will it will save and in, in your apps it will display terms and condition yeah uh, yeah here another thing is delivery man uh, you can uh, add a new delivery man you, you delivery man username password you can add uh, identification image like their social security number or or uh, identification very uh, identif uh, identification document you can choose their image and save here so when you register a delivery man the delivery man app they uh, in delivery man app they will be able to log in you can see the list of the delivery man here you can edit them or delete them and finally customer list so in customer list you can see all of your customer uh, customer details and how many order they placed you can you, you can go on of the customer and see the customer detail here they, they this customer placed two order you can explore the order also so you can you can see what your customers are doing you can you can view the order from here also okay and finally report section you can see your earning report how your earning work like uh, you, you, you can say set a specific date range like uh, a month or total you can see all your total sale total tax you can see uh, the monthly month basis statistic here it's a demo thing so you you will you can't exp um explore uh, like a real thing here but uh, if you set up with your restaurant it will display very nice and cool statistic i believe also the order report how many order placed how many order how many won by date range how many order cancelled failed lots of stuff and the weekly report you will get here so this is it and yeah we are working uh, lots of thing also we are working on web version 2 so so that a user can order from web 2 and yeah we will release them soon at code canyon here yeah. so i will add the every link um, in this video description if you like our script please uh, um, buy it from code canyon or you can share our script to your friend or family or whatever whoever you want your clients uh, it will be very appreciable because we are very new in this uh, business we are working like one years and um, we are we are growing and uh, we, are, we are startup so we are very much uh, appreciate we will appreciate very much if you uh, support us if you share our script to your friends and family okay thank you guys uh, thank you for watching this video and uh, hope uh, i will release a new video about the apps uh, user apps soon